Shalom unto the elect of the nation of Israel, which will consider the 144,000 and the one third of Negro, Latino, and Native American descent by the seed of thy father. First and foremost, before I get into my lesson, I want to start off giving all praises unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Raka Chodash. Double honors to the apostles, bishops, and elders, a great millstone that teach in their Ruel today. And salutation also to the fellow laborers that's in the ministry. And once again, the believers that scatter worldwide that's in the faith. And exalt the names of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Raka Chodash, in all truth and sincerity, day in and day out. Shalom. Uh, so, like I say, bitch, I'm just going to get into a quick lesson. And the top of the discussion is going to be when it comes to this, this word or this truth or receiving this calling, okay, it's real riches, okay, which is a, a rare treasure. Okay, when it comes to the knowledge and understanding of the Holy Bible, which is given once again through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And through men that the Lord set up here on the earth to help guide or teach when it comes to the Lord's ministry. Okay. And the reason why I'm going into this lesson because okay, we know about the physical meaning of treasures or treasure. Okay, when it comes to, you know, particular particular uh, substance, okay, as, you know, money in the form of gold, uh, silver, okay, uh, 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 diamonds, rubies, you know, precious stones, which is valuable, okay, on a physical level. But once again, the real treasure is having the understanding of the scriptures through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Shah, which is rare, okay? as we receive during the time of this calling because majority of our people when it comes to negro latinos and native american descent okay so called when it comes to the biblical hebrew israelites this word hasn't been um granted to all israel okay even individuals that supposedly there's other circumcision that know they israelites okay it's only for a few Okay, as a rare treasure, okay, and mainly, you know, basically to the elect, okay, which is a small number, okay, compared to the whole nation of Israel, okay, which is the remnant, because we know, un we come into the understanding as well that two-thirds, according to Zechariah chapter 13, verse 8, is not going to receive this truth, and that majority of our people are going to be judged, and as I may mention, even individuals that know the Israelites, man, but not fully into the doctrine or the spirit and power you have by Shema Washai. Okay? Because you have individuals amongst Israel have received the calling, which is a, a rare treasure, but they haven't contained it through the spirit, man. And the reason why, you know, make mention of it because you have a lot of these Israelite camps outside of Great Millstone, okay, when it comes to this word or them receiving the understanding of the scriptures of who they are. Okay, a lot of these Israelites start with their heads, uh, take this truth as an opportunity, okay, for um, the game, uh, merchandise, uh, uh, riches, okay, money, monetary gain. Uh, a lot of, uh, of these individuals amongst these leaders are, uh, uh, individuals amongst Israel that know a couple of scriptures and they use it okay, use the scriptures the Bible okay to, to be seen as men not really sincerely teaching okay all of it is for fame self glory even to the point that you got individuals adding and taking away from the scriptures and pushing damnable heresies man okay when it comes to the understanding of the word here, what we push at Great Millstone, which we believe and through faith and have the understanding through the scriptures, what Yahweh Bashim Shah acquire. Okay, especially when it comes to um, prophecy. A lot of these Israelite camps don't touch on prophecy as here at Great Millstone. 
Okay, An example. Uh, Revelation chapter thir 13, verse 16, being an RFID micro uh, chip. Okay, the MOTB, which is known as the mark of the beast. Okay, a lot of these camps don't teach that, man. Okay, such as IUIC, ISUPK, uh, uh, um, uh, uh, Watchmen for Israel, Sons of Thunder. Okay, I think now we're on one body. Okay, that recently was called one body in Yahushua, now it's just one body. And we can know and come into the understanding that a lot of these Israelites is to the point that they don't sold out. A lot of them had to take the bag, okay, for the physical tr riches or treasures, okay, in the form of, of, of money, okay. A lot of these camps done, you know, subscribe to the 501c3 charter, which is also known as a gag order. That's why a lot of things that he's teaching is uh, bringing forth Danibal heresy. A lot of these camps are teaching the hell doctrine. Okay, they're teaching that all Israel can be saved or all nations can be saved. Okay, they furthermore now uh, pushing the name of the, of the Heavenly Father being God, okay, and His Son name being Jesus Christ, which we know through the understanding and through study and through research that the Heavenly Father and His Son names are in the Paleo-Hebrew. Okay, which is Yahweh, the Heavenly Father name being Yahweh, meaning He is or He exists, or Yahweh Shai, okay, or, or Yahweh Shai, who the world called Christ, which is named in the Paleo Hebrew, meaning He is the deliverer. A lot of these camps don't push that name, okay, and it's vibrations that come with the name of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, okay, a, a big difference between uh, uh, God and Christ, man, which we know those are. English words, okay, that derive derive from the the Greek, okay. And so you know a lot of these camps not pushing the true name, and what come with the the, the you know through the spirit or the doctrine, okay. Like I say, a lot of these camps are pushing the hell doctrine, or all nations can be saved, or uh, um. The RFID micro is not the MOTB. According to Revelation chapter 13, verse 16. Okay, these now you got individuals pushing false names. Okay. Uh, um, uh, what else, man? A lot of these individuals amongst Israel in the mind frame are being militant, taking up arms. Okay, having, you know, trusting in guns or profiling guns. Okay, when it you know, when it comes to their certain platforms on YouTube, but claiming that. They're believers in the Bible, man. Okay, all they Israelites, man. Okay, which the scripture says the weapons of our warfare is not carnal. Okay. So you got a lot of individuals have been called, you know, like I say, into this truth, which is a rare treasure. But ultimately, only the elect is gonna contain it. And that's the number we're striving to be part of. Okay, through the spirit and power you have about Shemyah was shot. Okay, you got a lot of these camps now that disnouncing the 12 tribe chart, saying it's not accurate, saying it's false. Okay, saying that when it comes to the 12 tribes, it's Negroes only or blacks only, that the Latinos, Hispanics, and Native Americans are not included. Okay, so a lot of these individuals, when it comes to this word, once again, which is a, a rare treasure, that receive it, okay, but a lot of these Israelites, when it comes to, okay, what they're pushing, hey, they got a lot of DOS, okay, when it comes to their their, their, their treasure, or in the form of, in this case, their doctrine, their false doctrine, man, okay, the Lord said that he's going to make this word pure, okay, such as gold, okay, a real value of, of gold when it comes to that substance, Okay, the more purified it is, the more high value it is. And that's how this truth is. And it's going to be given unto the elect, start with the elect men. So let me go ahead and get into the scriptures. And I'm going to start off with Proverbs chapter 15, verse 6. In the house of the righteous is much treasure. Okay, representing this truth. Okay, not going into actually physical treasure. Okay, when it comes to monetary gain or wealth, okay, or money. 
or material things, okay, is going into what? The understanding of the scriptures through the spirit and power you have by Shemiah was shot, which is going to lead to salvation of the elect. And it says, in the house of the righteous is much treasure, but in the revenues of the wicked is trouble. Okay, and that's what you're starting to see. Okay, more of these individuals amongst Israel that had take this word, this truth, and make it as the house of merchandise, or doing it for monetary gain, or for ill intentions, okay, to be seen in men, okay? Trying to, you know, going all, you know, more deeper or deep, way off the end when it comes to certain doctrines, false doctrines that they bringing in, okay? Trying to be super deep, okay? <clears throat> and, but you see, that's going to just lead to trouble, okay? Because you how about Shemal Shai is not a pleased with that, man. You how about Shemal Shai is strictly pleased of what's written in the scriptures and simply just to teach, not to add and take away what a lot of these individuals are doing amongst uh, Israel, man. Okay? And it says, but in the revenues of the wicked is trouble. And like I say, a lot of these Israelite camps, starting with their heads, do it do it for, for money, for filthy lucre's sake. But that's only going to lead to their detrimental uh, 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 when the Lord bring great judgment upon them. And they have been warned by the true men of Yahweh Shemiah Shai. Okay? To tell them, you know, to correct their doctrine. Okay? You know, when it comes to the reproof, the rebuke, okay, the instruction, okay, how to rightly divine the word of truth. But a lot of these camps don't want to take heed. And they furthermore wax and worse and worse to the point that Lord is going to bring that judgment, man. Because like I say, you know, they're, you know, blind ultimately by the delusion of luxury, man. Okay, money to the point that they switching up the doctrine which they once learned, okay, when it comes to the truth. And like I say, doing it for them, you know, their own self, man. A lot of these camps in the mind frame of how much views or numbers we can get because they know that's going into how much money they can get. The big followers, that's why a lot of these camps, they push the Hebrew, Israelite music, rap music, reality TV shows, Hebrew, Israelites, reality TV shows, Fashion shows, concerts, you know, when it comes to certain Hebrew Israelites events, okay? A lot of them are in it for, uh, um, when it comes to, though, like I say, when it's supposed to be high holy days, uh, assembly, 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 a lot of them take it as a a time for opportunity or mirth, okay, to, to be, you know, in this, being in the, the off spirit of partying, okay? And a lot of these individuals that, you know, uh, take heed or, or come across, you know, a lot of these Israelite camps with these gimmicks, they are treated by that. The fancy garments, okay, all the, the big marches, okay, Israelite camps being on TV, starting with their leaders, uh, 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 doing, you know, certain podcasts with certain individuals when it comes to interviews, okay. And a lot of these individuals is being blinded by that, man. But the elect is going to receive the true riches, the true treasures, treasure when it comes to the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of this word. Okay? Which is going to be our stability in that, in that time to come. Okay? And I'm going to get that scripture, Isaiah chapter 33, verse 6. But let me get this. Proverbs chapter 21, verse um, 20. There is treasure to be desired and oil in the dwelling of the wise. Okay, yeah, once again, this treasure, in this case, spiritually, represent the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of receiving the word. Or Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And oil as well represent the, the understanding of these scriptures. Okay? And it says, well, this is going to dwell of the wise. And part of that is knowing the times that we're in when it comes to end time prophecy. Okay? Because we know we're approaching the time of Jacob's trouble, Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 7, okay, which is going to come in a time of martial law, 
the implementation of the RFID micro, civil unrest, the coming of the Third World War, okay? The plagues in the form that's gonna hit America uh, as like famine, okay? Uh, uh, pestilence. So great judgment is coming to this place of America. And ultimately this place of America is gonna be destroyed by the way of thermonuclear missiles at the peak of the Third World War. And when Yahweh Shai returned with the hosts of angels, okay, what the world called um, UFOs, which are the chariots or the vehicles of the angels, and how Yahweh Shai is going to return to bring destruction, but and out of that destruction, only delivered the elect. Okay, and that's the times they be coming into, man. Great destruction. Okay, we're coming in the time of persecution. Okay. <clears throat> so, you know, keeping our mind focused on what's at at hand or t on our task when it comes to prophecy and being in the, the right spirit and we, the way how we conduct ourselves is going to lead to, you know, uh, us being stable, okay? And constantly exalting the true names of the Heavenly Father and the Son, Yahweh Bashmi Shai, which is going to be our covering, okay? Us of that whole for number, man. Us that endure until the end, that the same shall be saved. Okay, but you're starting to see that amongst a lot of these other camps, man. Okay, they're switching up the doctrine, adding and taking away. Okay, so they're not endure. Okay, they're losing faith to the more, to the point now that they rather side with Esau, Edom in the system, and make their you know as this truth. Okay, world friendly. Okay, that's why we say worldly Israelites. Okay, individuals that posted no better, man, but don't sold out or don't took the bad or due to persecution or, you know, uh, 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 you know, how things are going on now. All hell about to break loose. Now they, you know, want to switch. Okay. And it says, there is treasure to be desire or oil in the. the there's a there is treasure to be desired and oil in the dwelling of the wise, but a foolish man spin it up. Yeah, kind of, so you know, like just like an individual that might have money, okay, certain riches, and due to them not having self control, they just splurge it, okay, or just spend all of it. And next day, you know, they you know they they broke, okay, or they facing poverty, okay. So it just adds this, this this word, okay? A lot of these individuals receive this word instead of them taking it, you know, as a a blessing to receive it as the the learn, the teach in sincerity, okay? To teach other men to be able to be stable in the scriptures, to be able to be able to be stable in the ministry, to go out there and teach. A lot of these individuals take this truth and, like I say, make it monetary gain. Or make it all about themselves. Okay? So that's in the form of them um, being fool or foolish men spinning it up, man. Okay? Not using it to the advantage of reaching the elect. Okay? As this word is only for. And that's what the true men is going to be doing. Teaching the word, okay, for the elect. Okay? Start with the men. Okay, to be sealed. So that's it on that. So let me get uh, Isaiah. Because like I said, this is what's going to keep us stable. Especially when they introduce that MOTB. And watch when they implement that MOTB. You're going to have a lot of these phony Israelite camps. Once again, going to switch on the switch up on the doctrine. And trying to say that they've been teaching it the whole time. Or even to the point they're going to try to justify themselves. To tell their congregation it's okay to teach it. as I mean, okay to um, take it as it is now. Same thing in the coming of 2020, during the time of 2021 and 2022, a couple of years ago, when you had Israelite leaders, okay, telling the congregation to go ahead and take the the the, the JAB, okay, the jump shot, the VEX, and look what the cause and effect of that now here in 2023, okay? But Isaiah chapter 33, verse 6, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. So the fear of Yahweh Shai 
and having a wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, okay, of the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh through the spirit is what's going to keep us stable. Knowing prophecy, okay? Because a lot of these camps are not preparing their congregation for the time of Jacob's trouble. Hell, a lot of these camps not even teaching Jacob's trouble. They say Jacob's trouble ain't going to happen. Okay? And so, you know, we at the point the Lord is separating the, the true worshipers, which is the elect, from the false worshipers. Okay? Start with the false prophets and those that are being mislead by them. Okay? So once again, this word is uh, like a, a treasure, a rare treasure that only the elect is going to fully receive, man. And that's going to lead to the stability of the time of the elect. Start with the names, okay? Like I said, starting with, you know, knowing and understanding the prophecies of where we are uh, heading, okay? Not being in the spirit of mirth or looking for this place to prosper or to keep going. I hold motive is the they're trying to uh, 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 gather and save all Israel Okay Or, or, or pushing that the heathen nations Somehow they're going to uh, Be accepted Okay All that's is false doctrines man Okay And misleading Let me get this I'm going to go to the book of Matthew Chapter 6, verse 19. And it says, Lay not up, and this is real letter, by the way, as you can see, which meaning that Yahweh Shai spoke these words. Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth where moth and rust do corrupt, and where thieves break through and steal. And that's uh, um, physical substance, okay, when it comes to, you know, money. Okay, if we not, you know, of course, you know, we use the world, but not abuse it. Of course, you know, brothers, you know, have they, you know, receive their daily bread. And, you know, you have brothers that have more than, you know, others. But as a a, a body, okay, you know, where one brother don't have, the other brother give. Okay, when it comes to, you know, charity. Okay, and then when it comes to, you know, building up the, uh, the brotherhood or the ministry. Okay, but we're not in the mind frame, thinking about this place going to prosper. Okay, think of that, what we're going to do in the next five, ten years. Okay, we're going to be the next biggest camp. Okay, or when it comes to Israel. Okay, as a lot of these Israelite camps are doing. How are we going to have a, how, how, how uh, 24, 2020, 2020, 2024 Passover is going to be way better than 2023. Okay. If you're going to do it more bigger, okay? A lot of these Israelites think like that, man. Okay, we're well, uh, 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 looking to receive this type of career. Okay, you know, like I say, more just more and more looking forward to prosperity and gaining, gain, gaining, more, gaining more money and more success in this place. But it says, lay up. Lay not up for yourself treasure upon earth where moth and rust do corrupt. Okay, yeah, because, you know, ultimately this place, America is going to be destroyed and all the riches in it. Okay, and a lot of these people that want to contain or attain the, the riches, especially you Israelites. Okay, and we know the next thing that's going to replace the dollar when it comes to the physical part of buying and selling. Once again, it's that MOTB. And a lot of these Israelites are going to fall to that due to the lust of this world and the material things they want to have, man. Okay? And it says, Wherefore moth rust do corrupt, where thieves break through and steal. Okay, so that's physical gain or monetary or uh, um, um, material things here on the earth, man. And a lot of these things that these uh, our people hold dear to themselves, Hey, Esau, Edom, through martial law, is about to seize all that. But to cut all this, this madness off when it comes to uh, um, certain uh, um, monetary gain or, or, like I say, the money or material things. Okay? <clears throat> Wait till all hell break loose, man. Verse 21. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. And the heart represents 
your mind. Uh, okay, lob in the Hebrew, meaning mind. Okay, so it says, for where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. And that's majority of our people. Their mind is on the physical treasures or material things of this world, including a lot of Israelites, man. Okay, so that's where they mind at. And that's why they more concerned about this world, this place, America. That's why here at Great Millstone, we we dominantly the only camp that go into the destruction of America. Because we know it's written and we know it's right around the corner. Okay, and, and you know, as we know it is prophecy. Okay. But a lot of these people, when it comes to Israel and our people as a whole, okay, that's not all this truth or not, you know, that's not paying attention. A lot of them look for this place to, to continue on, to prosper, man. Okay, not knowing that this place is about to head for its destruction. But they have been warned by the true men of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And it says, The light of the body is the eye. If therefore thy eye be single, thy whole body shall be full of light. And that represents this truth. Okay? You know that it said that if thy eye be single, meaning that you're focusing on the truth through the Spirit, constantly prophesying, constantly giving warning or what actually the scriptures are speaking of when it comes to the great judgment of this place, America, and leading up to Yahweh Shai return, okay? That's where your eye is going to be single, okay? You're going to be focused, man, occupying in prophecy, okay? On uh, Sarah chapter 39, verse 1, and it says, But if thy eye be evil, the whole body shall be full of darkness. If the light that is in thee be darkness, how great is that darkness and that's going to like i said a lot of people when it comes to you know a lot of israelites using the word for monetary gain and they're you know a lot of these sellouts that do all type of stuff man and that's how majority of our people when it comes to like these entertainers they're being exposed more and more of these celebrities okay they're doing all these sacrifice rituals okay on the left hand side they gain more money they gain more success or, or fame and you got israelite camps or israelite leaders starting to um be in that stead okay so they're really not focused man which meaning that they leading their congregation into darkness man uh especially the times that we about to enter into let me get this matthew chapter 13 uh, verse 44 and again and again, the kingdom of heaven is likened unto a treasure hid in the field. So once again, this, this, this wisdom, knowledge, understanding that we receive, okay, or this calling, okay, is, is rare, okay, as a, 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 a treasure that's hid, okay, a valuable, a, valuable, a valuable treasure, okay, the word that we receive through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shai is more valuable than anything that's here on the earth, man, okay, having an understanding how the Lord, the true, the true intent of the Heavenly Father and His Son, and they will, and how we should measure ourselves and conduct ourselves in like manner when it comes to serving Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto the treasure hid in the field, the which when a man hath found, he hideth. Okay, and that's a lot of things too. A lot of individuals that's amongst Israel, they find out they Israel. Okay, they you know. They are uh, uh, looking at videos, getting understanding, okay, when it comes to the knowledge, okay, the wisdom, but they hide it, okay? They, they don't go out there to the highways and byways. They don't do videos themselves, okay? Or they uh, they know about this truth uh, and they take time off, okay? They stop going out there to the highways and byways. They stop teaching, okay? So they hide it, okay? They hide their they, they talent or their treasure, Okay? And it says, and for the joy thereof, goeth and selleth all that he have and buy that field. Yeah, representing these, they sold out, man. Okay, to the point they're not teaching the, the true doctrine anymore. Okay, and bringing in Danibal heresy for 50 lucas sake, man. Okay, because they want to be likeness of this world. And you're starting to see that amongst a lot of these big time Israelites, starting with these leaders, man. Okay. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto a merchant man 
seeking goodly pearls. Okay, and the pearls is another uh, value, high value of uh, precious stones. Okay, that costs money. Okay, but it's going into what? Once again, the understanding of this truth. Okay, receiving this word. And it says again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto a merchant man seeking goodly pearls, who, when he had found one pearl of a great price, went and sold all that he had and brought it. Okay. And so, like I say, man, it says who, when he had found one pearl, great price, went and sold all that he had and brought it. Okay. And so that's where, you know, you, when it comes to this, um, this, this word, okay. When you receive this understanding of this word, okay. You know, it comes to the point that, you know, it comes to the point of a, a, a sacrifice. You might have a, a, a good career. Okay, a nice job or, you know, being, you know, inspiration to be, you know, something in this world. Okay, to gain more success when it comes to, you know, riches. But then you find this truth. Okay, and that's what your whole attention is now. Okay. So brothers, you know, had testimonies that, you know, they've been this, okay, a, a entrepreneur. Okay, or they had this certain, you know, job or status. But they forsake it all for the truth. Okay. Because we know that eventually, like I say, this place is going to be destroyed. And true riches, okay, which contain in these scriptures through the spirit, the understanding. But also we're going to get a physical, physical riches when the kingdom is established. Okay. And the main thing that the elect is going to receive, okay, when it comes to a, a physical, a physical uh, material things. Okay, the first thing is going to be a, a, a crown that was that's going to be given unto the elect men by the hand of Yahweh Shai during the time of the uh, of salvation and the Lord redeeming the elect, starting with the 144,000. Okay, and that's written in 2nd Edges chapter 2, okay, verses 40 all the way throughout. Okay, how Edges saw that ceremony of Yahweh Shai giving the crowns to those of the elect that got or those that got the victory, okay? Which is a incorruptible crown, okay? That's what we're working forward to, okay? Not a corruptible crown when it comes to the riches of this world to the point you have individuals amongst Israel selling out for, okay? So our whole attention is, you know, when it comes to the treasures, Understanding this word, or you how about Shemal Shai? To hold on to it, man. Okay? Through the spirit. And eventually in the kingdom, we're going to have everything, man. Okay? We're going to rule over all, all of the earth, man. Okay? We're going to sit on thrones. Okay? As we always go into the sweet things of the, of the scriptures. Okay? The, the kingdom. Sitting on thrones. Having all the, the riches of the world having servants, okay, slaves, when it comes to these heathen nations, which they're going to go into captivity up on us, okay, once our kingdom is established here on the earth, okay, how the, how men are going to have multiple wives, okay, uh, children, spiritual power, immortality, and more than anything, we're going to be righteous forevermore when the new covenant is established. Okay, when the law, statute, commandments is going to be in our inward parts. And I say that's key number one. Okay, besides the, the, the crown. Okay. But we're going to receive all the, 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 the physical substance here on the earth. Once Yahweh Shai return and establish the kingdom of Israel, starting with the elect. So that's it on that. Because like I say, the majority of people that trust in this world, starting with a lot of these Israelites, that's in for this, uh, in into the 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 Israelite whole Israelite movement, say to speak. They 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 just all in it for monetary gain or to just be seen to men, and they ain't gonna prosper in that day. Let me get Proverbs chapter with a no Proverbs. Uh, matter of fact, I get this first Proverbs twenty three, and verse twenty three. And it says, buy the truth and sell it not. 
also wisdom and instruction and understanding. And the point is, is buy the truth and sell it not. Okay, I always got a saying that when you're gonna, you know, when it comes to the truth, you know, of course, you know, you know, you have individuals that come up, okay, that might be want to give arms when it comes to, you know, offering or tithes, okay, and that's part of the ministry as well, okay. But we ain't gonna be you no know, having usury like a lot of these camps are doing, okay. Just overcharging their congregation just for they can stuff their pockets, okay. You know, the main thing we want you to um, pay is pay attention, okay? When it comes to the men of Yahweh Bashim al Shah and the highways and byways, okay, teaching his word, okay? The scripture says, freely that I have received, uh, freely, uh, freely uh, give, okay? And it says, buy the truth and sell it not, okay? So we supposed to, when we come to the understanding of the truth, we're supposed to teach it. Through the spirit and the power of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Okay? But you got a lot of individuals that took this now taking the whole Israelite thing as an opportunity to sell. Okay, which which the scripture right here say sell it not. Okay. All of them are doing it for monetary gain, once again, and for to be seen of men. And it says, buy the truth and sell it not. Also wisdom. And instruction and the understanding. And that's what the Lord has given unto his elect, knowing the time that we're in. Okay, also the hopeful elect. Okay, having the wisdom to apply what's written in the scriptures, the instructions. Okay, how to teach this word rightly. Okay, when it comes to the doctrine, the, the true interpretation of the scriptures, man, or prophecy, or history. Okay, and you know what's written in the in the in the in the, in the, in the, uh, in the scriptures. And having the understanding of it, man. And once again, wisdom and knowledge are going to be the stability of thy times, man. <clears throat> so that's on that. Because like I say, the, the physical riches that our people seek after of or have gained, stunt with a lot of these Israelite camps. Hey, I got this. Proverbs chapter 11, verse 4. Riches profit not in the day of wrath, but righteousness delivered from death. Okay, so riches... The things of this world that our people hope in, okay, or trust in, or want to want to receive, okay, ain't gonna prosper in the day of wrath, okay. But righteousness delivered from death, and that's going to understanding the will of Yahweh Bashim Shai, okay. Knowing this truth, man, okay, that's gonna lead to salvation of the elect. That's the number that we're striving to be part of, man. Okay, that's why the scripture says, "Give diligence to make thy calling and election sure." So I'm going to go ahead and end the lesson here. And I pray that the lesson be edifying. Until the next time, Lord willing, Shalom to the elect. Shalom.